Howdy, and welcome to another one of HPRC's video tutorial series. My name's Kenton Romero, and I'm the loudest, proudest Fight in Texas Ag class of 2023. Whoop. Today, we're going to be going over an introduction to using Anaconda on Grace and Faster. The first step will be to SSH into your cluster. If you need help connecting, via SSH, please refer to this video. Once you're connected to Grace or Faster, you will need to load your Anaconda module. If you are unsure how modules work, please refer to this video. Here we can see the Anaconda versions available to us from using the module Avail Anaconda. Today, we will just be loading Anaconda 3. And this will load the latest version. After you've loaded and you want to see what version you're in, just type in Conda dash dash version. Now, if you don't want Anaconda to load every time you open your cluster, you're going to want to put the following command in. This will disable Anaconda from loading on its own every time you connect to Faster or Grace. Whenever you're working with Anaconda, you're frequently going to want to be using environments. Environments will make sure that all the packages that you load uh, stay isolated to specific projects. So there's no conflicts between projects that you're working on. To make an environment, first you're going to want to CD into the folder that you want to create it in. We recommend to always use your scratch directory whenever you install new environments. Anaconda may, by default, save your environment in your home directory. If this is the case, you will need to move your .conda directory from the home directory into your scratch directory. The commands to do this will be found in the video description. To create your first environment, type in the following command. Keep in mind, you can name your environment however you'd like. This will take a minute. You will want to say yes to this prompt. And now your environment has been created. If you want to get information on your environment, you can type in the following command. Here, this will list all the environments that you have in this file location that was specified earlier. Now that you've created an environment, to get into the environment, you will want to source activate and the name of your environment. Once you see the name of your environment with the cursor, you have successfully entered your environment. Now you can begin installing packages to get your Python code to run. With Conda list, you can see all the packages that you've installed. Currently, there should be no packages since we just created a fresh environment. To install a new package, you will simply do conda install and then the name of the package. In this case, we will install both NumPy and Pandas. This will also take a short amount of time. Keep in mind that there are two different ways that you can install packages. You can do conda install, and then there is conda-forge install. Both ways are valid, but make sure for every environment you have, only use one way or the other. Mix and matching the two ways to install can cause errors. Click yes to install dependencies. Now that we've installed all the packages we want, we can once again check what we have installed. 
Now there are a large number of packages. This is because there were multiple dependencies for both NumPy and Pandas. Now we can run our Python program. To run a Python program, to run a program, you will just need to put the Python command and then the name of the program. Here we can see that we successfully imported Pandas and NumPy for this code. This was the code that we just ran. Now we can deactivate our environment. This will let us leave the environment. Once you have deactivated Jaconda environment, you will be back to the folder that you were in before activating. We can once again list all the environments that we have. If you would like to remove an environment, put the following command. Now we can see that my env is no longer listed. Finally, we have to clean up the downloaded packages. This will remove all cached packages. This shows all the packages that you installed, and these are just the tar files from when they're installed. They will still be installed in your environments. This is just removing the download. That is just a little bit of house cleaning, but now you should be able to create your own condo environments and run specific Python codes for those environments. Thank you for following along and good luck in your future projects.